Welcome everybody into this new video, it's Express. My name is Steven and I'm going to be showing you today how to send your money from your actual account at Coinbase directly into your bank account. There's actually two ways that we can do this, but maybe you wanted to try the second way because the first way is limited for only a few countries. So the very first way and easy way is to send your money directly from Coinbase into your bank account by going into send and receive. And here what you want to do is to choose the option that says send and you want it to go with send all. Sometimes we do have the actual element to receive that money into our actual bank account. If you don't see that in here, maybe you can see that into your actual Coinbase wallet section, which in my case is already been installed as an actual extension of my actual uh, server here. So I can just hit into send this money to directly my actual uh, bank account. So in my case, both options are not available into my country seems I already here into Mexico City. So let's try the second way. The second way is to find an actual wallet that is available into your country that accepts and lets you add your bank account. In my case, here into North or Central America, I found this actual section called Betso. So Betso is, um, let's say like a wallet, a digital crypto wallet that can be helping me to receive crypto money and let's say like trade that money for the currency that my bank allows so I can use that currency to send this directly into my bank account so I don't have any trouble. So, as you can see here into Beto.com, we do have a lot of elements here of currency. I have Mexican pesos, I have AP coin, I have NG. So, um, what you want to do is to find an actual element, an actual currency that is acceptable for your bank account. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit more hard. So, I found a bit so if you found it like another wallet that is available to your country and have the actual currency that accepted your currency let's say for example Binance let's say for example KuCoin uh, Sweet Wallet whatever so you chose that and la later on what you wanted to do is to go first of all into Coinbase so here into Coinbase what I want to do is to focus into my main assets right so here into my assets as you can see we do have only two dollars so I wanted to send this money directly into my actual uh, into my actual bank account. So what I wanted to do is to focus into my assets. In my case, I do have uh, only Ethereum, right? So I choose Ethereum. I click them. And what I want to do is to send this money into my actual other wallet called Betso. Let's go into send and receive, for example. I hit send all to I wanted to go back into the other wallet and here I wanted to go with my main wallet and look out for the actual uh, let's say the money or the currency in my case this crypto called ETH of Ethereum so I choose actions I choose deposit and I choose the network it's really important to choose ether because it's the only network that you can choose now as you can see it's gonna appear in an actual network a user wallet the fee and the settlement time. So I go into copy this user wallet. I go back into Coinbase and I paste it to the destination of the address. So here into notes, maybe you can add like your name, like your full legal name, the amount of money, the date, whatever. So this is just to make sure that you're actually sending the right amount of money. So I'm gonna hit now to send all and hit into continue. In my case, I believe that I don't have like enough money in order to sell that. So you want to actually make sure that you actually have a little bit of money in order to sell that or to send this directly into your actual store. So once you have sent your money, uh, it's going to appear in here into your actual balance, into your actual transactions. And it's going to appear in like right away here and as well into Betso. So what I want to do is to go back into my actual wallet. I can go into my transactions and I can go directly into my actual assets. So here into my assets, let's say for example, that I have here my currency. I'm going to go into currencies. Let's go only into my currencies. And as you can see here is my money right away. So in order to send this money into my bank account, I wanted to hit into buy or sell. So you want to make the actual exchange 
of your token into the currency that your bank account uh, let's say enables uh, so here i have my maximum if ethereum i hit into the maximum and this one should be converting this money into mexican peso or you can do usd dollars you can do pounds you can do whatever so here's the actual exchange rate the rates will update in nine seconds here is the actual value the spread and the total to pay I believe that if I hit into continue, the operation won't be processed since I do have a minimum amount of, let's say, 50 Mexican pesos. So I'm not going to be doing that at the moment. But once you have done this correctly, you wanted to go back, go into your currencies. And here in my case, um, you could be USD dollars, you could be Mexican peso, it could be uh, Canadian dollars, whatever. And you wanted to hit now into send. So automatically, it's going to be appearing your actual uh, bank account. If it doesn't appear, though, you can go into your profile. And here into your profile, you want to focus into your bank account, which in my case, I believe this appears here into saved account. And check it out. I have the currencies available. I can receive Me Mexican peso. I can receive Argentinian pesos. I can receive USD stable coins. I can receive Colombian pesos. This is the money that is enabled into this actual bit. So this is the way of how we can send money from uh, Coinbase away into your bank account. So once again, what is uh, really, really important is to find an actual wallet that has the currency that your actual bank account operates with. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit more hard to actually receive the money from Coinbase into your actual bank account. So this is the way of how I do this. It's actually working. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit more of my money, speaking about the fees and the actual prices of the gas and all that. But I believe that a little bit more of extra money to use it to pay per for the fees, for the fees actually, is not going to be like too much for that so as you can see guys how we can do this in a very easy easy way hopefully this was a very useful information for you so don't forget to like and subscribe guys i truly uh have to thank you for watching this video guys and hopefully i can see you on the actual next video